At our primal core, we are runners. We are excellent at both sprinting as well as long distance running, hiking, and walking. Um, the Tara, Tara Umara, uh, also the Raramiri, the running people of the Copper Canyons in Mexico, um, I believe they are said to kind of view their distance running as a form of, of prayer. It's a, 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 um, a spiritual act on, sac on the sacred ground that supports them, and it's a way of, of honoring all who came before them. I've noticed over the years that when I walk through a beautiful natural area, I feel more like an observationalist. Um, it's wonderful, but when I run through it, I feel like I'm actually part of it. I'm part of that ecosystem, and it's a very different, um, higher level experience. I sort of become the meadow, the stream, the forest. From a scientific point of view, both feelings and thoughts are energy. They're measurable, therefore they're things. So, therefore, thoughts are prayers, and by definition, prayers are thoughts. So it's probably vitally important that we're very aware of and monitoring what our feelings are telling us um, and what our thoughts are. Because our thoughts, um, the, the things in our imagination really are the preview of life's coming attractions. While religious communities of faith can bring a lot of great things into the world and into people's lives, I don't think it matters whether you're an atheist or consider yourself a religious person or a spiritual person. It really doesn't matter if you um, worship a can of ravioli. In my mind, what it's most important to keep in mind is that what we feel and think about is what we're most likely to bring about in our lives and into the world. For me, running is an expression of what we are at our primal core and a, an extraordinary way to attract more energy into our lives. Running can definitely expand the human experience. And it's a lot of fun. Scientists will all agree that everything in the infinite universe is in fact energy and, and we are simply created from that. Rocks, mountains, rivers, oceans, valleys, the soil, uh, a portageon, everything is energy. And a good case could be made that humans are the most advanced technology um, in the universe. Each of us is some extraordinary number, maybe a hundred trillion cells. Um, each day millions or billions of, of dead cells are, come out of our bodies and new ones, new ones are created. Within a matter of a few years, virtually every cell in our body is replaced, even the bones. Um, uh, so I, presumably our brain tissue is completely replaced every few years, yet we retain memories from decades ago. Um, what a miracle that is. So no formal training or facilities or donations are needed if we are feeling and thinking we are effectively praying. Uh, whether you believe it or not, it's similar to the concept of karma. Whether you realize it or not, it's always working. If you're watching this, you're doing it right now. And anyone trying to tell you how to think, feel, worship, um, if they think they have it exactly figured out, you should probably be very skeptical. What makes us different from a rock or a coffee mug is our ability to use our feelings and thought uh, to create the life and experience and surroundings we desire. So I certainly don't have the answers, but perhaps we're here 
and we use that power to create heaven or hell on earth. One of my favorite um, mantras, mantras are prayers, right? One of, uh, one of my many favorites is the universe will correspond to the nature of my song. Um, Coach Joe V. Hill would tell his runners, he was one of the top all running coaches ever, um, he would tell his runners, ask nothing of your running and get the world in return. So energy flows where attention goes. And I believe that our feelings, it's coming from our heart and our gut. Um, they're, they're the amplifiers to what's going on in the mind. Running can greatly um, expand on all of these ideas. So... Namaste.